Hello and welcome, I'm Mystical, this is Mystical Gaming, we are back into Watcher of Realms and I wanted to have a quick look over the Searing Obsession, the event they've got going on at the moment. So, originally you get put onto the story mode and that takes you through the four stages. Once you've done those, you have a quick look at the boss and then it's on to the, the challenge mode. Now, the challenge mode isn't that difficult, but it's really well set up and really well done. I don't think it's that complicated for them to do, but it is nice to see that they do this sort of thing for new events. Um, bringing in a hero in for the game and giving a bit more depth into the storyline and that sort of thing. I think it's I think it's really well done and it is, is nice to see. Now, the rewards up the side, I've done mine today. You have to get, they've put 50,000K there, so 50 million. Points. I don't think it's that hard to hit. I hit uh, 76 without any great issues whatsoever. And there's top of the leaderboard hitting well in excess of the 50 million. So it seems relatively easy to do or achievable, I should imagine, for most people. Um, and you can have as many goes as you like. It's not limited by energy or anything like that. That is the, uh, the setup for it there. And there's a nice run of what the boss does essentially he produces a shield and deals some sustained damage on you break the shield or he deals massive damage it is much like uh, Lord of Sticks from Immortal, uh, Immortal Codex so pretty much I would use your same team coming across for this and you should quite happily smash through the 50, uh, 50 million mark now quick look here shield of equilibrium periodically uh, activates shield of equilibrium and takes no damage while the shield is active each incoming damage can use one stack of shield on the equilibrium so we just chuck in some well, fighters probably best to chuck in a healer and we'll slow this down He's in quite a little bad place actually, normally I have to pull the screen down. There we go. There's the shield up, there's the number of hits. So it is as per Lord of Sticks. More hits you do, the number comes down, semi's breaking any shield. Once the shield's down, so we can let this run on auto, it's no great shake. So multi-attack, single target, good. Once the shield's down, you get a choice of these. They go up to these sort of the rare ones, then you go up to see the epic ones, and then there's some legendary ones at the end. For me, anything that does extra damage or number of hits is what I tend to go for. So here is HP above, yeah, let's go for that. Attack speed, so they should get more hits in. That's the only thing I would really struggle on is getting the number of hits to get the shield down each time. Um, the only other thing to watch out for is if you don't get the shield down there's a massive explosion and the further you go on the more hits the shield has to do. So I think it's 24 or 25 that time round. If we just speed this up. Get a little warning bar come up just below to say the shield's going on shortly. So you can prep everyone. There's the warning bar. There's the shield and this time it was much higher. And that's realistically it. Through to hit your numbers again, the shield's down. Use that. And then we'll quit out of that battle. No great shakes, who's already done it today. That's essentially how you do the boss. It's not hard and everyone should be, I think pretty much everyone can do it without too many worries. And those little boosts every time you get the shield down are really helpful. I quite like the format of this and how it's going forward. Now, once you've done this, you then collect your rewards on the side. This gives us our um, golden oaths and our red roses, which are then redeemable in the shop. So we've got our golden oaths here, and then everything else is done by red roses. So it's not that hard to obtain these. Now, the event's been on for seven days, so you will be able to get a total of 30 ancient summoning crystal shards giving you a full one I suppose I don't it's probably an easier way to do it to split it down like that as opposed to putting the full price up there for a full one and then there's some diamonds and these uh, chat bubbles as well so everything here comes to 1500 there there's another 800 there which takes it to 2300 and the last 600 here takes it to 2900 
When we come back to have a look at our challenge mode, we can get 400 a day. It was on for seven days. That gives us 2,800, leaving us 100 short. Unless we do these challenges, make 10 purchases from the Searing Obsession Redeem Shop, and then you get another 100 there. That'll give you 2,900, and you will be able to buy all of these without any issues whatsoever. Everything else for the roses, not including the gold, comes to 9,800. You can easily clear that. I think if you do everything and collect the redeem codes and all that sort of thing, you'll get an excess of 11,650. I think the rewards here are good. The uh, Ancient Summoning Crystal, absolutely brilliant. Always nice to have one, you never know your luck. You might get yourself your next Twin Fiend or something like that. Uh, within the Roses, obviously if people are pulling for the Lust, then you've got the Lust exclusive artifact there. I think that's a brilliant addition to this shop. That's a really well thought out idea to actually place an exclusive artifact in there. Uh, you can only get the one, so you can't smash everything in there to try and get two or three of them. Uh, Epic Champion, if you want that. Another five um, summoning crystals. Who doesn't want summoning crystals? And most people will be broke from summoning crystals anyway. The flip side to that is you might be a couple short, and that would be ideal for you, so you can pick up some there as well. Five star psychic bout, always nice to level someone up. The only downside to this is they don't help you score particularly well in the um, the Corridor of Glory event. So they sort of slow down your progression there, really. Arena permit, next fusion, always nice to have a spare couple of arena goes in the bag. Always nice to help you just sort of clear off that event, should you be worried about it. Water battles, yeah, they are what they are, aren't they? Um, I don't struggle to get auto battles or have any, I've got enough and there's another hundred there, but yeah, what they are. And I do like this, I really do like the way they do this at the end. They just put in loads of gold so you can claim any loose bits that you've got lying around. You can just plonk them into the gold and you'll always use it when you so I think that's a nice finishing touch to to the event itself. So thank you for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, we'll be more than helpful. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you all again in a video soon. Cheers then, bye.